Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Upgrade your website functionality in 2023 by converting it from HTML to WordPress. Follow our step-by-step -step guide to seamlessly migrate and lock in the benefits of WordPress dynamic content management system. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So basically guys, the first thing that I will suggest you to do is to go ahead and open up your dashboard on WordPress. Then what you have to do is to simply head up to appearance and go to theme editor. So in this section guys, if you are really into HTML, code and CSS and PHP and all of that assets, well, you will be able to seamlessly integrate what you have in mind in here. So this is the code, like for example, here you can do whatever you want. So you can change the already template that you are having. So for example, here, let me just visit my site. This is the template that I am currently using. And here you'll find all the files that might help you to change anything in it, to adjust or to move. So here are the sections, the classes, for example, there is the comments, there is the theme footer, there is the theme header. So all of that are probably in PHP, there is not much in the HTML. But yeah, in general, this is like the things that you might find in this uh, in these pages. Now, what about if you do have a page, for example, a website template or a website HTML code that you want to convert it into a WordPress? Well, let's try it out by getting first an HTML code from ChatGPT. So here I'm going to ask the ChatGPT to give me a prompt. So let's not a prompt of a website. So make me an HTML code for a e-commerce website. And I'm going to add, uh, for example, let's keep it like that for now. Let's keep it like that. And then I will add some stuff later on. So basically, this is the file that we have. So let's save that as it is. Copy code. And now let's go here, for example, and let's go to themes, as you can see right up here. So what you'll have to do is to simply click on add new. And here you will be able to upload the theme. So here we have the HTML code already. So what I'm going to do as an example, let me just go back here. Um, I'm going to create a new file here. So for example, here I'm going to click and create a new file. So new, let's name it text doc. And here I'm going to paste this code. After that, let's click here to save as, and I'm going to save it as website dot xml save and like that we have this website now i'm going to create a new zip file which is going to be a website and i'm going to put this file inside of it so as you can see now if i open it it will be in here let's check it out if it's going to work so this is like the first method that you can try so here we go now what i have to do is to simply head up to quick access click on website and install now and this is only one way to actually upload your files or HTML code or whatever you want. But here, as you can see, there is this error, so we can fix it. So let me just copy it. And like that, we can just paste it on Google. So this is an issue with the zip file you are uploading, basically. So they couldn't file find the correct file in my zip file but this is in general just a, f a problem that it is with me as uh, i don't have really the good zip uh, format f in my pc somehow i got uh, some viruses etc but doesn't that doesn't really matter for you guys it will be perfectly working for you but also as i said this is only for html code you can merge multiple files guys you can ask your gpt to add a custom for example, uh, CSS for it as well. And let's check how it's going to work. So these are both the uh, CSS and the HTML. So and basically what you could do is go, for example, here, HTML, HTML uh, like uh, showcase. And here you can simply 
uh, click on create your website here or register and paste the code of chat GPT so for example and check if the website actually looks as you want it to be this is just as an example to see how does it work and later on let's say later on that you have uh, uploaded your HTML code inside of your WordPress website and you wanted to edit anything in it well you could go simply to your site click on customize and basically in this section here you will be able to find additional CSS so you will be able here to simply write any CSS code that you have in mind and it will be changed in here so for example here let me just for example click like that do some aspects and let me try to change this as an example so this is here it is I'm going to add here for example uh, where's the color exactly I want the color and here it is so what you could do is to simply change the color so let's copy this copy that and as you can see you can click here paste it publish it and the changes should be done so as you can see here the after I refresh the page as you can see I'm refreshing the page so you can check that the aspect mode is no longer available and it is actually changed so you can change the HTML code of your already existing template uh, from this additional CSS customized or you can either go to the appearance go to the theme editor and start editing your website through this file you can uh, of course have like this built in CSS as I said or simply just go here um, it can be a little bit messier for you to understand all these sections to understand everything so there will be PHP sometimes it will be JavaScript uh, sometimes yeah there is different things to have actually here uh, but in general this is like very very good uh, you will have everything in here and you can change edit there is also comments for you so you can uh, understand what this customized comment is gonna do for example output the search model if it is activated in the customizer so there's a lot of things guys here going you can change it or you can simply start editing each one by one and removing the ones that you don't want and keep it uh, as simple as you like so the implementing or turning over your HTML code to WordPress website is very easy guys. You just have to get your HTML code ready, go to the appearance, theme editor and paste it right there. Or you can just go to the customized additional CSS and then you can change the code right there as well. So they are simple straightforward processes that won't take a lot of your time so with that being said that was it for today's video guys so thank you guys a lot for watching if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i'll make sure to read all of your comments guys thank you guys and see you guys in the next tutorial